Uh, lawmakers, meantime, may have another high hurdle to deal with by the end of the summer. Elon Moy joins us now with more. Good morning, Elon. Well, Mike, the deadline to raise the debt ceiling could be a lot closer than investors realize. The Bipartisan Policy Center now says there's a significant risk that the nation reaches its borrowing limit in early September instead of its previous estimate in October. Now, that is important because it would mean that Congress needs to deal with this now before they leave for summer recess at the end of the month. The expectation on Capitol Hill had been that lawmakers could punt this until they come back in the fall, but they may not be able to wait that long. But right now, there is no consensus on how to move forward, even among Republicans. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin was on the Hill last month, floating the possibility of a one-year debt ceiling increase paired with a one-year deal to keep the government funded at current levels. However, Senator David Perdue of Georgia is leading a coalition of Republicans pushing back against that plan. That coalition includes Jim Inhofe, chairman of the Armed Services Committee, and Marsha Blackburn, who was close to President Trump. In a recent letter to the administration, they called for more money for defense and warned against, quote, handcuffing the military with funding gimmicks. So the broader challenge here is that lawmakers are trying to solve three problems at once. They want to raise the debt ceiling, fund the government, and increase the statutory caps on federal spending all in one big package. Guys, that is a very heavy lift, and there's a lot of skepticism that Congress and the White House can negotiate it and get this done over the next few weeks.